Good win. How confident are you in maintain that that way of playing and win the last few games? Yeah, I'm confident enough. Obviously, we won the last couple of games, which has really helped us, hasn't it? Pushed us right into the pack, really. Um, but of course, we need to follow it up now. Uh, it's a crucial time of the season. Um, and we're really looking forward to the game on Friday. Massive game for us, but yeah, we're confident because obviously off the back of a couple of uh, good, good wins. So we're looking forward to the match. Does Friday make a difference at all? Um, uh, maybe a disadvantage for us, I would think. You know, I'd have preferred the game to be on a Saturday because obviously other managers are watching what's happened. They see the result, they can set their tactical or substitutions on the Saturday. So yeah, I think we're at a disadvantage playing on the Friday. Um, but it is what it is. We've just got to go out there and uh, do the best we can. Obviously, the Wraith are still in there fighting to, to keep the league alive. And uh, we're, we're fighting to stay in the division. So it's going to be a uh, you know, um, big game for both teams. You've had some interesting clashes with them this season. What do you make of, of their performance season-wide? Yeah, they've done well, haven't they? Really, obviously, the second in the league. Um, they lost a lot of games, changed their formation a few times, played a dime in the last game, so they'll probably go back to that, I think. Um, they beat us a couple of times, haven't they? Uh, we beat, managed to beat them down there. Um, we had a good game out there with them. Um, we went deep into the game and we scored a couple, didn't they? So, yeah, I think it'll be a close game. Um, they're a good team. Uh, it's a, it's a big, big um, task for us to, to get the points, but we, we're looking forward to it. And are you absolutely rock solid, 100% happy that this season's going to end the way it should? 100%? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. I think nothing can be 100% at the end of the day. There's still points to get played for. We've got nine points to play for. Other teams have got nine points to play for. So, no, I'm not, I, nothing's 100%, I would think. Um, but we're certainly in a good place. As I said to you, we've come off a couple of good results, so we want to continue that and we need to. I, I was probably thinking we needed um, three wins at the time. We probably need another t another two now, to be honest with you, because uh, our broth are in the pot, aren't they? So we've got um, our broth who are basically um, you know, getting turned over now. Um, so it's a big problem for us because we've got um, Mortimer in the room about us playing our broth. And we've got, we've got Queen's Park playing our broth as well. So um, I hope I'm wrong on that, but um, so we'll be we're, you know, we're up against it as well because we, we see them, um, you know, our broth basically have down tools on their, on their club and their manager. You could, of course, do Dundee United, an old club of yours, a favour uh, in the race for the title uh, if you get the better of Wraith. I mean, how would you feel about that? Yeah, yeah. good luck to them. I've always, I've always felt as if Dundee United would win the league. Uh, to be honest, yeah, I think they've won the league. I think it's done. You know, I think that they've, they've, they've got enough points, they've got enough goal difference to, to say that, you know. But it's not obviously 100% uh, done. But um, no, I've had good times at Dun United, but you know, they're, they're, they'll win the league if they don't win it. You know, if they win it on Saturday, if they don't win it the week after. Um, but I'm concentrating on us. And we, we need these points desperately because, um, as I say to you, we feel as if um, you know, Queen's Park will beat our broth and, and, uh, and Morton will beat our broth. So we've got to make sure we pick up these points on Friday because then uh, we'll be back. We'll be back real in trouble, you know. Um, full squad to choose from at the moment. Full squad, yeah, that's something, isn't it? To have a full squad to choose from. I've actually got James Carragher's come back in, on the training ground today. I've had Remy Savage, who's obviously he got he was concussed, so he's come back on the training ground today. Um, Wallace Duffy's been off the training ground, so he he's not trained today. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got more coming back. I've also got good news on Sean McAllister, who as you know was out for, um, was it for, I don't know, he's been out for six weeks or something. But he was back on the training ground today. So he's arrived back up for Everton. Uh, he's been rehabbed and he's ready to go. So he'll be added to the squad. So that's good news for us. We've got one of our, um, one of our, our lone players back. It was nice to have Wallace with us today. Does that mean he's in the squad for Friday? He'll be, in the, he'll be training tomorrow. Obviously, the, 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 the press was organised before that, but this is, this is his, uh, he missed today's training. He never trained on the pitch today. He trained yesterday, complained a hip, hip flexor problem, so he never trained today. But we'll try and get him on the pitch tomorrow, maybe, but he's definitely a doubt. Thank you. You said several weeks ago that if you could string a couple of back-to-back -back wins together, it would make a big difference. It looks as if you're right. 
Well, it does, doesn't it? The league's so tight and you get yourself six points, don't you? Um, so much needed wins, desperate for the wins, especially at home, because it's been so long since we won in front of our fans. So it was nice to get that you know, um, done uh, against our broth. Of course, going to Queen's Park then, it would have been massive for us. If, if, you know, if we'd got beat there, it would have been a mountain to climb. And we managed to get the result. I think we well deserved the, the, the result. Um, and it's put us in a, a reasonably good position. But of course, as I said to you before, uh, you know, and I'll go back to it, we feel as if our broth of, um, of, of um, no, um, down tools, so to speak. So we feel as if our broth aren't going to pick up any more points. So that's going to cost us in the running because um, there are two teams in the run about us that are, that are playing them. So we'll probably need another two wins at least to keep ourselves in this division. That's what we're targeting. Obviously, we want to go to the end of the season without getting beat, but we'll probably need two wins, and hopefully that starts on Friday. So you've, up, you've had to upwardly revise your original thought of three wins out, out of the last five. Yeah, I did, because I didn't realise that the two the two, the teams were playing our both in the run about us. You know, if it had been other teams, I'd have been more confident. But, you know, as, as I said to you, I don't want to keep on harping on about it, but uh, uh, you can see we have both result last week against Air, where, where their heads are at and where they're, 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 how they're um, you know, trying for their club or for their manager. So hopefully I'm wrong on that. But, um, you know, we, we're putting, we're putting it, uh, our both not to win another point, so that's going to cost us in the league. So we need to make sure we've got another couple of wins at least. On the other hand, as far as your own club are concerned, morale is doubtless going in, in the opposite direction. It is, it is, yeah, definitely. I think, I think we look. I think when when we got beat off of Partick, I think there was a quite a reaction there. And I, I felt we played well against Partick, uh, but we didn't get the point. But I think the last four or five games, especially considering we went to Dungeon United and got a draw, we have done to a few teams lately. Uh, doing at Partick with ten men, then we beat Abroth and we beat Queens Park. So we've, I think we've, we've been in the right, right, right uh, momentum, but no picking up maybe the wins. We've managed to pick up the wins now. We're confident, but it only takes a game. We've got Rafe Rovers, who's the second best team in the division. We've got them at home. Our home record's been terrible. Um, and C Queen's Park are uh, doing it Dunfermline. So things can change very quickly. We need these points desperately. Well, if I could be a bit of a devil's advocate about Rafe, on the other hand, um, Rafe's belief in being able to win that title must be challenged by now. Whereas on the other hand, as I said already, you're going in the opposite direction. Uh, this is maybe as good a time as any to be meeting Rafe. Possibly, but obviously it's, the league is still alive, isn't it? As such, you know, it's still mathematically, you know, they can still catch them. Um, even though I believe, I think most of us believe that Dunyan is going to win the league. Um, but you know, Wraith Rovers, is, it's alive. It's, it, they're alive. It's a Friday night game. It's on the television, so we're expecting the best of Wraith Rovers up here. And of course, those games have been really close to them in the, in the, the time I've been here. Um, but we need, we need the victory. We need, we need the wins. Obviously, Wraith, you know, want to keep the, the, the league going for another week or another day. Another day, isn't it? Really. I'm sure Dun United will pick points up um, against Air at Tannen is it? So, um, yeah, look, you know, it's, it's the league still alive, so Wraith will, and Wraith will come here and I'm sure they'll try their very, very best to keep the league going. That's great, thank you very much. As thank an you. ex pro, Daniel, can you understand that attitude from our growth, you know, because you surely got professional pride, you know, going into every game. Yeah, I think that I think you, you have, but I think that just that edge is gone now, isn't it? I mean, obviously, look, I've, you know, I've, I've never watched the whole game, um, Air VR Broth, but when you saw the result, you know, five, yeah, you're thinking, well, you know, we, we it's just our luck, isn't it? We had a broth, we had a broth out there when we were fighting for their lives. We probably relegated them. Yeah. The next week, then, you know, it's just the way it's went, and obviously, the teams when the us are playing our broth, so we, that's why we're putting down three points to the other teams because. No, we don't think our both are going to try a leg now for the end of the season. Yeah, I hope I'm wrong. On, the, po on the positive, I mean, McAllister coming back was it? Is that totally unexpected? I mean, you were, were you not? To be fair, I forgot about him. Aye. I just I don't know because you, you long term injuries you're out for you know you're out for six weeks. It's long term, isn't it? Um, so he just appeared really yesterday, I think. So yeah. we made up. You know, he come on and did a wee bit of light training yesterday, but he come into the main group today. So it was a nice surprise right. yeah, to see him back. I knew he was coming back, obviously, but um, I didn't know when. Mm -hmm. um, but it was nice to get him back and um, you know, a couple of games to go. So he, he, he'll, he'll go right into the squad. And he's definitely in my thinking for starting on Friday. Sure. You've said a few times now, he still needs at least one, maybe a couple of victories. I'm sure the guys have had a big boost moving out of the bottom two last weekend. But how much of your job at the minute is reminding them it's not a job done yet? Yeah, that's, that's part of the job, isn't it? Definitely, and I'm sure the players don't don't think that. I hope you know, 
but it was nice to get out the bottom uh, too. Um, don't get me wrong, it was nice to get the wins we needed them, didn't we? We really did need them. Um, if we can follow up now with another victory, I think we'll be there or there boots then. But of course, going back to obviously, we're worried about what's thrown about us and what fixtures are left for other teams. So really, when I felt maybe three games were enough to win three games, I'm really thinking now it's going to be four, we need another one. Um, no, and uh, I think that will that will go a long way to keep us in the division. Hopefully that will be Friday, because if we don't pick up points on Friday, then it's in other people's hands then, isn't it? It's out of our hands. So we need to be desperate to pick up points on Friday, we've got to win, but it's out of our hands again. Other teams can, t can take us, you know, overtake us with three wins, for instance. And these guys coming back from injury, it could just be spot on time for them with such big games still to come around the season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, McAllister will be one of them, won't they? I don't think there'll be any more. Sean's had an operation on his hamstring. He'll be out for four months for now. So he's had an operation on his hamstring yesterday, I think. Um, Gilmo is, is a, a, doesn't need an operation, but he's still out for obviously you know, another th two months, whatever it's going to be. So he'll be for the, he'll be for the, the summer. Um, but you'll know McAllister will be the one who's coming in for the, for the long term injuries, which, as you say, is uh, timely. And he's a good player. We like him, and he's in my, he's in my contention to start on Friday. You went to the defenders as well, though. I, I guess you haven't really had a settled defence since you came in, have you? No, I bought my, I bought three. Well, I didn't even have three centre, three centre backs that I brought in on um, in the transfers and the loans, obviously because Mullins, uh, uh, Carragher, and, and Savage was out on Saturday. But it didn't it didn't affect us, did it? We have got the second best defensive record in the league. So there's only Dun United who have conceded uh, less than us. So the defence have done very well, whoever's been in. So we've got a good defensive record, very good, second, second best in the league, as I said. So all the, all the lads are doing well at the back, obviously backed up with maybe the best goalkeeper in the league. The players that you've brought in at the loan, we speak about Cammy Kerr quite a lot as well, who you know, really have settled into the, the team. You know, In terms of um, where they go after, after the summer, there's a, a case of the focus is pretty much on, on the here and now, and then you, you can see what happens after that. Yeah, I mean the focus is on here now, but of course, I, I, you know, I'd love to carry Kerry stay with here, stay here. We would definitely be interested in keeping him here. I'm sure he's got a, quite a few offers, you know. But I think he's got another year left at Dundee, so he could go back there and, 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 and crack on, or you know, I'm sure he'll have other offers. But he's a very good player. We would definitely want to keep him.